playing Pac-Man. Yeah. Instead, they're getting some exercise. Nothing wrong with Maybe Pac-Man. that's the new arcade game of the future, right? I don't know. It doesn't sound that fun. But maybe. Could be. Nice Good weather. running weather. Wow, the past three days Good have Pac-Man been perfect. outdoor weather. Uh, yeah, <laughs> around, past week, really, around here. Yeah. It was really comfortable, um, unseasonably cool, but nobody was uh, complaining with highs in the upper 70s. Nope. It was so nice outside. We do warm up a bit today, but more seasonable for Saturday. Sunday, Monday, and into Tuesday, that's where we're talking oppressive heat and humidity. So most of the clear skies this morning. There are some clouds and a few showers, even a couple storms actually, to the northwest here. Cold front set up here to the north. Here's that little cluster of eh, maybe a little bit of thunder there, but mostly showers. It continues to fizzle out as it tracks southeast. But I think we'll still be left with some clouds as that moves in here. High pressure set up off to our south. That will warm us up a little bit today as we get that clockwise flow around high pressure, southerly flow at the surface. That just continues to warm us up, though, through the weekend, really making it uncomfortable by tomorrow afternoon. 63 right now. Dew point still in the 50s, though. That's a good thing. South wind is very light, but it does become breezy by late morning and afternoon. 67 Des Moines, 64 Sioux Falls, 66 in Pier, but a lot of 60s on this map. So a decent indicator that high pressure is nearby. We're not really seeing any clear cut fronts showing up. Warmer air masses near cooler ones. 59 is the dew point in Omaha. Dew points in the 50s, a good signal of comfy conditions. No real humidity to deal with right now, but these numbers do climb into the mid-60s for this afternoon and lower 70s more likely Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. That's what we call oppressive humidity. Here's storm predictor. Still saw, showing some clouds around here by the noon hour. Maybe even a couple showers and storms to the north of us, but not too concerned with the viewing area. Heading into late afternoon and evening. Actually pleasant around here. That wind will die down just a bit this evening and then into the overnight, but still a south breeze. So it will be mild overnight. Lows in the upper 60s. Sunshine to start off Sunday here. A couple of clouds forming. More of those hazy clouds if we see them during the daytime hours. We'll keep any rain out of here. This computer model was trying to spark a couple tiny showers here and there. I'm really not too concerned with that as we head toward tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Mostly clear once again heading into Sunday night and Monday starts off clear, but we keep all that humidity around here. We'll still have the sunshine, so looking pretty hot. Our best chance for a storm, that's going to come on Tuesday as we still have the heat and humidity in place. Look at some of these low temperatures overnight. 76 Sunday night into Monday, 76 again Monday night into Tuesday. A bit more seasonable as we head toward Wednesday. We're at 90 and partly cloudy. Cloudy, upper 80s expected for Thursday and Friday. And I'm thinking the way it looks at this point, likely another chance of some scattered storms heading into next Saturday and Sunday. What do you think about the long range plan here? I mean, are we back into the 80s and 90s for the long haul here I, through I, August? I think we're looking warmer through the rest of July. August is still a little bit up in the air at this point, but we got this cool snap after that. Well, really, just a kind of um, anomalous mm-hmm. dip in the jet stream that brought all that cold air in. That's gone now, though, so we're kind of back to normal. Okay.